So you've completed the Rowendale quest line and still haven't unlocked Rapport and BC Lenora. I'm Shailene Cotton, here with the gamer to show you how to get the return trip quest and unlock Lenora. So if you're like me, you finished the Rowendell main story quest and went to go see if you'd unlocked all the Rapport NPCs, only to see that Lenora is still locked. Unlike some other Rapport NPCs, like you'll see with Queen Azina, who needs a certain amount of charisma, wisdom, etc. to start a rapport with, Lenora is locked behind a quest called Return Trip. But where is Return Trip? The only thing that the Rapport menu mentions is that Lenora said that she'll focus on her research until she can treat her student. This is in reference to Avin, but how do you heal Avin? Your first clue is in the Adventurer's Tome. You'll see that Return Trip is actually one of the Another Story quests that counts towards your Adventurous Tome completion. Hovering over it only reveals the hint to help Gertia to contain the magic eruption and repair the damage. Even if you make the connection here though, there's more to unlocking this quest than even this clue hints. This has to be one of the most convoluted quest lines in all of Lost Ark. There are prerequisites to your prerequisite quests. Here's everything you'll need to do to get the return trip quest and unlock Rapport and BC Lenora. It might go without saying, but before you can embark on any of these quests, you'll need to have first completed the Rowendell main quest storyline all the way through the final quest, Ratik. The first prerequisite quest you'll need to complete before unlocking return trip is the Tower of Thanks. But unlocking this quest requires a long process with very little direction. You can do these quests in any order, but if you do start them out of order, chances are you'll have no idea that these are even related to each other. So first, go to the Bambiri settlement in this room with an NPC called Amaro and one of the Lake Shiverwave Mokoko seeds. You'll find an investigate spot in front of the bookshelf. This begins the A Strange and Magical Book quest. Read the book, and then talk to some Bambiri NPCs to learn more. This will lead you to an NPC in the Sylvain settlement called Book Collector Zenadar, who asks that if you find any more books like this to bring them to the Sylvain mages. This next book is in Elzewin's Shade, sitting by some barrels by the southernmost boat dock. Click on it to accept the quest, The Book of Time. Reading this book instructs you to read it again on the ground warped by the purple demon. This is in reference to Brelshaza and the magic erupted ground just outside the Phantom Palace entrance. Travel there and you'll see the specific spot where you must read the book. This automatically completes the quest. All right, so this next book I actually discovered when I wasn't recording because at the time I had no idea these quests were even related. To pick it up, you'll need to slay frenzied magic golems in the Breezum Forest. There is a random chance for them to drop an item called a soft construct fragment. You'll see it in your inventory with a yellow exclamation mark to signify that it starts a quest. Right-click it to begin the Magic Grimoire quest. First, you'll need to inspect the transparent fragment that was inside the goop. Next, travel to the fairy village and talk to NPC Fairy Parfi. They'll tell you to go to Breeze and Bray and collect some powder from revived flowers that'll look like this. Three should do the trick. Then, travel to Breeze and Village and speak with NPC Mage Mafir to complete this quest. I guess the construct fragment had the book inside it? I don't know. Anyway, moving along. Next up is the Grimoire in the Fire, which can be found in this section of Breeze and Bray in the middle of one of the burning fields. After reading the book, you'll have to bring it to Mage Mafir back in Breeze and Village. And that's literally it. Probably the simplest of all the book quests. The last book can be found in the Zanala Ruins in the Banbury Village area of the map. You'll find the book beside a nameless NPC in this little nook. Pick it up and bring it to Bambiri Chief Batum. He'll tell you to pass it along to Gabius in the Moonkeep. Okay, so now you can finally return to Rothun and you'll see that the Tower of Things quest is available in the Dawnkeep. Talk to Abaruth here and he'll thank you for finding all the books. Talk to him once more and he'll say that they're planning on using this recovered magical knowledge to help Avin. The second step to all this is to repair the seal site. This is a daily Unus task that is completed in Lake Shiverwave by helping Gerdia defeat the magic constructs. The catch here is that you'll need to complete this daily, not once, not twice, but seven times before the seal site is officially repaired, I guess. The seventh time you turn this in, Gerdia will thank you for making the site stable. According to him, the last step in curing Avin is in killing the Phantom Legion Queen and obtaining the encroached King's sword from her. Now, the Phantom Palace Gurdia mentions isn't the Abyssal Dungeon. 
it's the same one you already did back in Elzuin's Shade. You can enter on Normal or Hard, but you'll need to do this dungeon again to reach the Phantom Legion Queen and loot the Encroach King's sword. You can leave immediately after this and still keep the sword. Talk to Gertie again and he'll make some medicine to bring to Aven. Travel to Aven's house in the Stillvane residence to give the medicine to the injured Aven. Once the medicine is administered and you've talked to Turan and Aven, the quest will be completed. You'll see that it even says that Lenora wants to meet with you. Now Lenora is unlocked and you can find her in Elzawin's shade. Oof, that wasn't so hard, was it? For more tips and guides on Lost Ark, be sure to check out thegamer.com.